Hello there fellow captains and welcome to Destiny 2 The sequel to Destiny 1 Never would have guessed that would you? Uh, but yeah, picked it up again For pretty damn cheap on uh, some website, can't remember which uh, And I said again, so obviously I purchased this before Didn't really have any um, interest in it at the time A lot of bad press going about for a good reason I mean there was a lot wrong with it and, well, I refunded it. But I picked it up pretty damn cheap uh, about a week ago. And they've been playing it since. I'm going to launch myself to a region here, the European Dead Zone. But yeah, uh, I've been enjoying it a bit. I mean, it's kind of waning now, my enjoyment of it. Because I can't find anybody to do raids with or anything. Mainly because nobody is social in this game. Unless people have friends that already... Play the game. Nobody is really social to anybody running around. You know, it's it, it's not World of Warcraft. Let's say World of Warcraft has gotten pretty bad in social aspect as well recently over the past few years. But yeah, I've gotten to the point where I'm level 25, max level with one of the expansions or whatever. Got somewhat okay gear, I guess. I mean, let me just have a look. Once I get to a safe area up here with Eldevrim. To anybody that plays Destiny 2, the gear is okay. It's not good, it's not bad, it's middle of the road for what I've been doing. Which is Zilch on the Isle Raid front. Because can't get anybody to do it with. Uh, tried using the app, didn't get any replies. So, yeah, here's what I've got. If you want to see everything else, there's everything else, pretty much uh, pointless stuff. Let me just see if I've got enough for anything here. Looking for something? Not really, Devra. I'm just looking to turn in some of these markers or whatever the fuck they are. Right, there we go. So, yeah, I enjoyed it up to the point where I got to where I am now. Just jump on my old bike. Get to somewhere I'm not going to be shot up. The campaign, I mean, was terrible. It's like Bungie are trying to recreate what they got with Halo. Not going to happen. Um, you can tell... Um, I mean, there's a lot going on in Destiny that's trying to mimic Halo. I mean, there's this massive object. They don't know where it come, uh, came from. It's very powerful. Um, Halo Ring. We've got these really powerful soldiers. Chosen ones or whatever. Uh, Guardians. Spartans. And a number of alien races trying to poop on their parade. Covenant. We've also got this robotic AI race. Uh, what do you what do you call them? The Vax. Back okay. here, the Forerunners. You know, they're Sentinels. They're. I, I didn't really play Halo Four all that much. I didn't enjoy it. But there was like um, what were they called? It was like um, Prometheans. Was that it? These robotic, semi-robotic, slash biological enemies in it. But uh, it's kind of Halo crossed with Borderlands. And that's kind of the aspect I've been enjoying. More the Borderlands loot best uh, part of it than, you know, what little story there is to it. Just see if we can get into a strike, which is more or less a dungeon. Here we go. Just this is about the day, which is good. And it gives me more time to talk. So yeah, the game is good. It's it is what it is. It's a loot based game. Very borderlands. And it's always online, which is a big <laughs> seeing how the game is very unsocial. I mean I'm gonna jump into a game here with a couple of guys, just randomly chosen as we enter an instance. And I've not once in my entire week playing this heard anybody speak, nor saw anyone, you know, type in the little chat box at the bottom right. I am in the correct channels. Uh, that bugged me a bit. I've been working on them to see if it's maybe something I'm doing. It's not. It's just nobody gives a fuck. Everyone's just doing their own thing. They've either got friends in real life or just friends in general that play the game as well. They can group up with them. There's no point in meeting anybody in-game. It doesn't happen. Even my brothers, who 
played the first one religiously, both of my brothers. Uh, played it religiously on the Xbox One, uh, on Destiny One as well. They played it with people they knew in real life. Didn't hear a thing of them meeting anybody in the game. In fact, whenever I was up there was, um, a few times, I never ever saw them with a headset on talking to anybody. That's the problem. Someone tell us what we need to kill today. Well, that's pretty much the ghost there. Uh, telling us what the game's all about. Log in. Pick your character. Kill something. Get loot. That's that's the game. In a very small nutshell. Get out of my way. Right, hold on. It's a bit loud on my earlier box. Where are you? Audio. There you are. Okay, down. We've touched there. That's fine. So yeah, um, playing on the PC, which is a more social platform for multiplayer games. It's uh, there is none at all. There's no social aspect at all. And what I mean by that is that in game, there's more MMOs on PC than there are on consoles because you have a keyboard, you're able to chat that way through text if you don't have a headset. Whereas with console, most people get a headset with their controller. But still, on this here, there's nobody. And look at these guys. They know what to do. I know what to do. We're both doing what we need to do. Get the mission done. No need for communication. The game's designed that way. It's just so simple. The enemies in these uh, fair, what do you call them, encounters or whatever, have a little bit more health. That's why you need somebody with you. But it's the same enemies. Different area. In fact, no, not a different area. I mean, pretty damn similar environments all over the place. The only enjoyable part about it is the shooting stuff. Which Bungie are very good at. I mean, I, I played Halo 3 and... In fact, I played Combat Evolved, Halo 2, 3, uh, Reach ODST. I played them like crazy when I had the 360 years ago. And I don't understand how Microsoft own the whole Halo franchise and yet they're ignoring PC. Halo 2 was released on PC. It was uh, a nightmare, portability wise. Terrible port, honestly. And it won't run in any near systems. I know the Xbox is where they get the majority of their cash. Get you up boat. There we go. And let's pull out the big Quark Duster. What do I call this old uh, missile thing? Quark Duster. I mean, if there's anybody out there, any of you guys that watch the videos, I mean, there's been very few recently. Uh, there's been, I've, I've, I say this a lot, but there's a lot going on in my personal life at the moment. I'm trying to get me sorted so that I can get the channel sorted. Because this is an ambition that I've had since for about 10 years now. Back. I'm going to work on it. Maybe dips here and there. Rex now again, but I'll always be back. In fact, I've recorded a few um, Dreadnought videos on Fractured Space. It's just that my um, subscription to my editing software expired, and I need to wait until I get a bit of money to resubscribe so I can get them edited and put up. I mean, this here video here, I'm just hitting uh, record an OBS. It'll go up raw. Well, I hope it will. I hope the audio levels are fine. Did a few tests before this, but you never know. There's a difference between being at the Citadel or, you know, the hub area. And actually being in a game where there's explosions and enemy voices and explosions and all sorts of shit. Like Destiny, for some reason, won't work on game capture in OBS. I have to use, like, a capsule capture display, which I don't like doing because it can affect, um... Mouse, what are you doing? It can affect FPS. I mean, usually I would get between 80 and 200 FPS and any one area in Destiny 2 with everything at max. 
But display capture, I can even tell in game the FPS isn't as smooth, but we'll see whenever I upload this. Hopefully it'll be at 1080p 60 FPS. What is going on with my mouse? Never buy a Razer product. Never. I mean, they sponsor every kind of MLG uh, esports event imaginable. But their products are shit. Go with Steel Series or even Logitech. Logitech. They're good. And they're not that pricey. Razer, pricey. What is. Hold on. It just. Doesn't pick up uh, movement. It gets stuck. I've never had this problem with any other mouse, but I've been using the L Razer Naga for years. I'm used to the number keys being on the side. Back sec, go away. Back off. Yeah, so display capture seems to be affecting the FPS a bit. Had to turn off shadow play because I was noticing it as well. I can hop goblins. Stop that bullshit. Which enemy in Destiny has their own weak spots that you can exploit, like the um these guys the Vax, you can see that they have a shiny white glowy thing on their head. Don't go for that, go for the chest item. Whatever that is, some sort of crystal or heart. Cyclops on the other hand. Just shoot the big red glowing thing if you can't get behind them. Yeah. But yeah, if there's any of you guys out there that have this on Battle.net, Battle.net or whatever on PC and you want to group up through your raid, I would love through your raid. I've been trying to get uh, a team together, but again, nobody replies. Sometimes I've been questioning whether or not people are seeing what I'm typing. Got the same type of channel system that most MMOs do, but they're not used. Whoa. Thought that would have been a, an epic item or a legendary, but nope. Kind of getting left behind here because I'm getting distracted with the child chatting and all that there nonsense. But yeah, uh, back to some red not in Fractured Space. I've recorded some of the Last Stand in Fractured Space. I like it. I actually like it quite a bit. Uh, Dreadnought, again, the... Uh, mentioned in a newsletter that big updates coming soon. They keep, they keep saying that, but I never ever see anything that substantial. Still hoping that maybe one day we'll get the single player campaign. Or maybe they'll add a horde defense mode. That would be pretty cool. I like those, especially in games like Fractured Space and Dreadnought. Well, the games that are Fractured Space and Dreadnought because there aren't many of them. That they may be the only two Games where you're in a, you know, a futuristic capital ship that can uh, be spacefaring and all that nonsense. But the idea of like five ships holding up like an onslaught of maybe inferior uh, space age ships from another race is pretty interesting. I like that. Or even in fact, space's case, the AI uh, that's attacking you in last down is superior. Nice little bit of lore there behind that as well. That's interesting. I mean, the AI, I forget what you call the AI in Fractured Space, the one that you're fighting in Last Stand. But there's an interesting part to it that the AI is so powerful, so intelligent, and so unstoppable that the AI itself predicts that it is way too powerful and it will cause more damage in the long run than good. So it decides to shut itself down. Never heard that before. I mean, in Battlestar Galactica, they're, they're always looking to attack more and destroy more. Uh, but that's got the whole cliche of it. You know, it repeats. Everything repeats. History is doomed to repeat itself. But I like that little aspect in Fractured Space, which really didn't need it. It just needed a horde defense mode. Didn't need to be an AA. But I mean, just, you know, uh, a random faction attacking another faction's base. Few mercenaries are hired to go and defend a location until civilians get out. AI actually shutting itself down because it is becoming too rampant, too powerful. It's a cool idea. It's not like humanity has its last stand, all corporations and factions allied together to stop it. No, it just shuts itself down. <laughs> Gone too far. Alright, we've had enough crack here, alright? Uh, shut, shut yourself down there. What, monster? Just shut yourself down, we've, we've had enough fun. But we're winning. 
I just shut yourself down. I'm dead. Maybe not. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you, Mr. Tayton. Whoa. They're by far my most hated enemy in the game. The, um... Minotaurs. Even the Centurions with shields aren't that bad, but... Minotaurs? Buys them. Here we are on the bus. Didn't take too long. Let's get the old cluster thing ready. Right, okay, there's things here. Zacks. Goblins are oh shit, not good. Get some health back. Did the FPS drop? Is a fact in my aim, which is affecting my judgment on what I can kill. And if I have enough time to get my shields back up. Yeah, check down these back and hobgoblins. Whoa! Come on. I think I'll focus on the odds while our other two guys focus on maybe the big hitters. My all rifle is better, but I never use the SMG all that much. Has he still got his old shields up? Alright, let's use our ultimate. Right, come on. So the game has got a lot of bad press recently. For good reason. I mean, bunch of your assholes as our Activision. Quite sad that Bundy have fallen so far over the years since you know Yellow has moved on to 343. Why didn't he reload there? Yeah, it must be that back in delay on attacks. Where's the big fella? There you are. Is he down again? Whenever you're going down more than me, something wrong. Come on. Almost down. He's almost dead. For like the 15th time this week. So the bosses are actually full. I think that might be Blizzard influence. The bosses in Halo were not really bosses. I mean, you had the Scarab. They turned into more of a mini boss throughout the games than anything. I mean, whenever you first encounter one in Halo 2, it was terrifying. This massive, four legged, robotic monstrosity. It had this big eye cannon thing that could obliterate you in a second. Terrifying, but also awesome. Loved whenever I could finally take control of them in Halo Wars. Right, that's us. Let's head back. The Isle Traveler. Have a look at that beautiful vista. I mean, if there's anything Halo, not Halo, I keep saying Halo, if there's anything that Bungie do well, it's art. They make a lot of things seem epic and grand. I mean, when I did play Halo 4, I remember at the start of it, I can't remember if it even was the start of it, the Infinity, I had ascended onto the Dyson Sphere or whatever it was. And just the scale of that scene, it just descend over this landscape was gorgeous. And then at the end, you see the arc rising or whatever the thing was that the Dead Act was using. Beautiful. They always do uh, vistas really well. The artists at Bungie, 
I'd say they're the best aspect, as well as the guys who do the game design on the gunplay. But there we go, look at that. Got a quest here from my... Keith David Wannabe. See what you want, Savala. Yeah. Okay, I've already had them before. Oh my god, did that dick. Right, so I've got a... Did that complete that? Please tell me that completed that. It didn't! I've got a... Loot an exotic engram or bring it to the cryptarch to decrypt. A dick could have given me a... <laughs> Probably a load of shit. Yeah, it's a load of shit. But, let me just uh, end the video the way I was going to end it before I got distracted there. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. There's also these big guns over here. Big, massive, Mac gun wannabes. Oh. I love just standing around looking at stuff. Brilliant. And there's the Traveller. Yeah, it's it's pretty big. Mm-hmm. So I'll leave it there. Dreadnought video to come as well as Fractured Space Last Down video once I can get my um adding software back up and running. But uh yeah, thank you all very much for watching and I of course like always we'll see you next time. Bye bye.